Hello, 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 Aphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another true crime reading. This time it's on the wonderful Marilyn Monroe. So, obviously her death is a big mystery that people have lots of questions about. So what we're going to do is just dive right in and see what we get. Now, to be honest with you, um... I don't really know what we're gonna see here. I don't know, I'm just gonna go with the flow and see what I get, okay? Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. So right off the bat, let me tell you that these are, hold on, let me go back one for a second. <clears throat> All alleged for entertainment purposes only. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Tarot of the Haunted House. Okay. I should have done my research. Gif. Okay, so the Empress is a verse. Someone's mom. This is a lack of self love, but this feels more like mom. Someone's mom. Seven of Cups, Pipe Dream, Two of Pentacles, Unequal Exchange. Mm. Star reversed, expose, expose, public figure, expose, vulnerability, weak link, king of pentacles, someone with money or power. What is this though? Who's mom? Two of pentacles, working with someone's mom? What? This, this... I can't figure this card out, and I can't figure this out. Two of Pentacles. Unequal exchange with mom. Many possibilities. It goes wrong. Some sort of exchange with someone's mother figure goes wrong. Leads us into escape. These are escapisms. This is escapism. I mean, this is probably under the influence, too. Um, allegedly for intent purposes only. So it's like escaping... But who's, I think this is a spiritual piggyback. I think this is mother issues for her that leads her into feeling unloved and not beautiful and then going into substances. But this is someone else's mom too. There's some sort of underhanded exchange between a mother figure. Maybe it's a father figure and it's just showing up as Empress Reverse, but there's someone's like maternal, paternal figure um, that she had some sort of camaraderie with and they screwed her over. Because the sun is reversed, which is unhappiness. The wheel of fortune is like you're, again, another issue of like you're a risk. There's some sort of exposure here. And the knight of wands is like get rid of her. See? Devil card. So I do think substances were involved for sure. Start the camera keeps focusing. Let me turn the light up so maybe it'll stop doing that. I don't know if that did anything. Um, but the... Devil card here is like manipulation, and the Seven of Swords is a failure with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So to me, what that reads as is like ineffective effort, failure. So she was deemed a failure. Then there was manipulation, and this Eight of Pentacles is reversed. So there definitely seems to be some. Okay, so Devil card here is manipulation, but it also feels like sex work. So I definitely think that that was her initial role. I definitely think there's some sort of alleged sexual escapade here that turned into something more. Yep, the penis card. That's the birth of something new too. I wonder if they were scared she was gonna get pregnant. Cause this is like out of our comfort zone and the world is averse, ending the cycle. I wonder if they were scared she was going to get pregnant. Because the Ace of Wands is up right here. So that means like there has to be some sort of like, that's the birth of something new. So it's like, uh-oh, this could go in a different direction. It's almost like extending the bloodline. Hmm. Yep, see, Emperor. It's a strong man. Powerful man. Very impactful man. Emperor. I don't know if it'll focus. Yeah. 
And he's got accolades, because if you look at this card, he's got trophies everywhere. Six of Swords, Travel Distance Change, Five of Pentacles Reversed, Abuse of Power, Six of Swords is a Trip. Abuse of Power, Six of Swords, Trip. There's some sort of travel or trip that has relevance. That's where decisions were made during some sort of trip. So the initial wave of this was trying to, this is like trying to change public perception, but the King of Cups is averse. So someone was told to get rid of her, couldn't because they were too emotionally invested in her. Um, they were scared of even further emotional investment. And then we see the Eight of Wands and the Judgment card here is like, well, we'll have to ruin public perception first. Interestingly enough, it had nothing to do with... So for her, I do think she was doing things for money because she had to, but this situation wasn't for money. Because this is like, I've done regretful things for money. The Seven of Wands, I'm guilty of that. And this is like being like, hey, bitch, we have you know video of you doing this. We have proof of you doing this. We can expose you and show everyone what you're doing. But I also think she had the same thing on them. I think she had things that she could expose on them. So it's like they were both playing the same game. Although for hers, she feels more like, her energy to me in this reading is reading more as like, survival so it's like if you're gonna do this to me then i have this and they were afraid of her doing that which is why they got the back blackmail on her it's like blackmailing the blackmailer but then them only blackmailing her because they were afraid she would blackmail them and she wasn't going to so yeah lover's cards of it has to do with her having someone under her thumb without even trying page of wands she was able to kind of express herself and so the person was able to express themselves in this connection, the Nine of Swords has it made them scared. They were just scared. They preemptively struck. Because to me, the Judgment card reverse is like ill. You're like it's like you're like trash. Like you're less than. You're not of the same standard. You can't sit with us. That's what it feels like. See, this would embarrass us. It would hurt our pride and ego. Um, you know, this would break all of the plans that we have. The consistency. You know, when we hand things down to other people, you know, it would be handing down to the wrong person. It's like muddying the water. It's like ruining the bloodline. Nine of Cups reverse. It's like, it's immature. Three of Cups, there was a little bit of jealousy and competition. There seems to have been, the Five of Wands is confrontation. So there had to have been a period where she was at least she was either like pushed to the corner or pushed aside and then came back because it seems like this male figure who's obsessed with her pulled her back in even though she was out at one point because the four of pentacles is a greedy card which means that he wanted his cake and eat it too and so he got caught dipping his hand back in the cookie jar that's what this is yep what did i say it's a it's an opportunity not worth fighting for but the sex is too good and i oop um, and it causes friction with everyone around me. This is even like cold like behavior, but you know, that's the environment card. I'm not surprised. Yeah, there she is. Queen of Cups, Marilyn, Judy, Sylvia. Tell them how you feel, girls. So the Queen of Cups is upright, the Hangman is reverse, and the Six of Cups. So um, for me, oh. So Hangman is about not wanting to let go of her. I already saw that. I already got that. But the Six of Cups is the past. Something was erased from her past and rewrote. So the past that we know, there's a, there's a detail that was erased and rewrote. This is the Justice card reverse. This is like illegal activity. The moon's reverse, which is like an exposing of a secret, and the two of cups is reverse. There is an issue with who she's connected to in the past and who she was connected to now. Somebody changed somebody changed something a little bit. I can't figure out if that's like it's the person she was connecting with was not the person we all thought it was. Like that man, maybe it was someone else. 
or if it has to do with her backstory that was a little bit changed but there definitely seems to be something here because it's like it's weird i think it's both i feel like it's another spiritual piggyback where it's like the person that was obsessed with her seems to be someone other than the person we would think but that other guy is also obsessed but they didn't want to focus on that one because that one is like prestigious even more prestigious it's almost like if there was a hierarchy this would be the person everyone thinks it is but it's really this person as well and there's a bit of like a competition and so it's weird i don't know how to describe that to you i don't know if that made sense but there's another person there's like another male figure here that's erased from this narrative and i can't figure out what that means also her backstory is 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 flubbed her backstory is flubbed like her backstory is flubbed there's a there's a there's something to do with like her history that was rewritten so i don't know what that means that's what i'm getting hmm Does anyone know if she went to church or anything like that? I mean, Hierophant is marriage, and the Eight of Cups is a verse with the Four of Swords. So I don't know if she ever, like, slept with married men or anything like that. But there's a marriage, breaking up a marriage? I don't know what that means. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's related to the other male figure? um there could also this could also sometimes indicate some sort of religious um thing so like sometimes when we pull something like a um sometimes when we pull like a hierophant sometimes we could have confided into a religious figure and that religious figure could have either said something or had some sort of impact on here okay um yeah, the Page of Cups. You bring me comfort. Hmm. The Fool. I was naive to trust you. The Ace of Cups. I thought we were friends. You gave information to the sly figure, the King of Swords. Damn, she got screwed over here. Huh. It, it was a preemptive strike. Okay, let's pull from the other deck. Okay. All right, let's pull from... Um, what should we pull from? Let's pull from the astrology deck first. Family, Cancer, Pisces, Dreamer, but that's also Illusion, Libra, who she was connected to, it's the same story, Aries, Aggression, Selfishness, First, Virgo, Plan, Aquarius, those are, those are people's opinions, Scorpio, Manipulation, it's the same story, Capricorn, Daddy, I don't know who that is, it's an older figure, Sagittarius, in Gemini, there were two competing people. Sagittarius here is about adventure seeking. That's forbidden fruit with Scorpio. I don't know. I feel very strongly that there's two competing energies here. Gemini is like two sides of the same coin. Two guys. I don't know what that means, guys. Libra, same thing. Two guys. Hmm. Family? I don't know. Pisces is illusion. Did she really have substance problems? Is that confirmed? Do we have like concrete proof? Okay, let's pull from the Dark Mirror Oracle deck. Or is that just something we were told? Because I'm not sure with that seven of, the Seven of Cups in that Pisces card. I'm not sure. Can't figure it out. Oh shit, this card jumped out. Ha! Of 
course it did. It's queen of my own world. She felt isolated and alone, bride in a cage. Okay, this is two things. One, this is someone's wife, or at least some sort of female figure that was jealous and feeling pressured. Um, it also feels like there's feminine energy around her, so it feels like there's some sort of feminine energy behind her alleged mysterious death. Um, but that's also her feeling like she was a bride in a cage, right? Like she was whatever sex worker or whatever it is that she was whether she was just a woman who liked them or they liked her I, I can't really tell um but the black flower fragrance card here is interesting because it means that she stepped in crap and the is this me card says she did it accidentally that's what i'm saying like people were into her she wasn't calculated she wasn't meticulous she wasn't looking to do things she accidentally stepped in crap and got herself in a sticky situation see perchance to dream i don't even want this thing why do you think i want this thing i don't want this prestigious i don't want this thing i don't need it masquerade hiding your true self see this is like um you're pretending to be someone you're not you know you're you're hiding who you are but she wasn't see peaceful among thorns i remain calm i don't react i just ignore what they're saying it's not true sacrifice downcast pride i told you and alone in the world so they tried to humiliate her and ostracize her at first that was the first goal that didn't work because people just felt sorry for her even more they tried to make her look bad and and, and, and make her look like a joke but all it did was make her more popular that was the problem i told you see artificial heart being cold the child was meant to be there worried about the bloodline i'm telling you someone was worried about her getting pregnant and the fated to suffer was like she's got to go to me it feels like it's orchestrated from a female that's what it feels like i don't know if that's possible perhaps it's just someone with feminine energy i mean feminine energy can sometimes be someone who's maybe not super secure but to me it feels like female i'm gonna go ahead and re-pull one last time to see if i can pinpoint what feminine energy I'm looking at. First pull death. Apathy, four of cups, two of swords, you gotta go. World, end the cycle. Five of swords, petty, and a little bit of vengefulness. Queen of Wands. I told you it's feminine energy here. Queen of Wands. Potential fire sign, but it doesn't matter. It's someone who's very beautiful. Very, very much, like, extravagant. And look, it's a queen. So it's someone who's, like, very self-sabotage, which means that I think she got close to her. Gossip. Someone I confide in. It's also impatience. Not getting what I want. Impure intention, I cause problems, and the will of fortune is I take opportunities when they come to me. Hmm. There's a female in here. Now, I don't know if the female is the one that did it, but what I can tell you is this female was like, the, if, she, if this female is the one that did it, this female is the one that carried the information. Potential fire sign, someone powerful or impactful or beautiful, very strong personality or... I, or a fire sign, something like that. Like it has to be Queen of Wands energy. Um, she, this person is either directly responsible or the pigeon carrier. Is that what the word is? Like they carry the information to someone. Now, whether or not this person knows what they're doing, like maybe they were. This person was forced into information that I can't tell, but it looks like they know what they're doing. I don't know though, because the Wheel of Fortune is like, oh, this would be my chance to shine. It's like, oh, I can get rid of this bitch and go in where I need to. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Welp. That's about all I can get. I don't really know what it means. Uh, forgive me if I'm off. Uh, these types of readings are experimental and I don't really do them very often and I'm learning myself. You know, you're never too old to learn. Um, so remember these are all legend for entertainment purposes only. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I do these live, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and even TikTok, Amphrodite. Um, let me know what other readings you want me to do, any true crimes or anything else. Uh, put in the, the description, make sure you hit the bell for notification when I upload next and subscribe. 
Um, private reading should be coming out. Um, I'm hoping to release them early March. That's the goal. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. I have a PO box if you guys want to send me anything. It's in the description. It'll be open for like two more months. Test driving, test test driving it out. Um, and if it works well, then it works well, and I'll keep it open. So let me know. Uh, until next time, bye guys.